Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto and Tire Rack. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week 93. We're glad to have you with us. Isuzu is a company that has frequently had to struggle for recognition in the U.S. market. The rest of the world knows it as a builder of big commercial trucks. But Americans are more familiar with its compact pickups and a rapidly shrinking line of automobiles. Its most visible current products are a revamped lineup of sport utility vehicles. Tops among these are a heavily revised rodeo and this new two-door trooper. Although some of its other vehicles have been less well received, Isuzu's success with sport utilities, one of the hottest market segments in the industry, is undeniable. Since its 1984 introduction as a low-budget 4x4, the Japanese-made Trooper has been continually upgraded in both power and appearance. A two-door Trooper was first, followed by an even more popular four-door wagon. With its 1992 total redesign, the volume four-door Trooper led the way, but now the two-door niche has been filled with the Trooper RS. The four-door only rodeo has been its own success since it began rolling off Isuzu's Lafayette, Indiana assembly line three years ago. But because its domestic content is just under 75%, the rodeo is actually considered an import. In fact, it's the best-selling import sport utility in North America. While there's a definite family resemblance, telling a trooper from a rodeo isn't difficult because troopers are over seven inches taller than rodeos. Both Isuzu's have high center stop lamps mounted above the tailgate window, but the Troopers is a long, narrow unit that looks much more up-to-date. The Trooper RS rides on the same 91.7-inch chassis as Isuzu's smallest sport utility, the Amigo. Two-tone paint treatment is standard and carries over to the front bumper. Its black grill bars differ from the bright work on four-door Troopers. Included in the 92 Trooper makeover was a 3.2-liter V6 with four valves per cylinder, available in single or double overhead cam versions. All RS Troopers receive the dual cam motor, which delivers 190 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. Our Trooper had a five-speed manual transmission and a part-time four-wheel drive transfer case. With 150 pounds less weight than the four-door, the RS exhibits a strong response to the gas pedal. Successive winter storms last March kept us off the test track, but they left behind lots of snow, a better test for any sport utility. The Trooper two-door with its shorter wheelbase, a more ride-oriented suspension, and all-season tires on aluminum wheels was competent over snow-covered roads and terrain, though not outstanding. Still, we never got stuck, and the new Trooper did exhibit excellent handling characteristics, as well as fine brakes. All Troopers have four-wheel ventilated disc with an anti-lock system at the rear. As with most sport utilities, the new Trooper's interior isn't overly luxurious, but it's a big step up from before. We're always happy to see a complete set of large analog gauges. Large also describes the heat and air conditioning controls. The stereo system with optional CD player is equally well-placed and easy to use. The supportive cloth bucket seats have a variety of manual adjustments that work well, but we found Trooper seats a bit stiff on long trips. In the Trooper RS, the passenger's bucket seat folds forward for rear seat access. The one-piece rear seat back folds down, and after opening the Trooper's trademark two-thirds, one-third rear doors, the cargo cover can be removed and the rear seat folded up and out of the way to create a cargo area of 68 cubic feet. As an imported two-door sport utility, the Trooper RS is subject to a 25% truck tariff which is built into the five-speed's $22,350 list price. Our test vehicle's $550 CD player brought its final sticker to $22,900. As for the four-door rodeo, its 108.7-inch wheelbase is the same as the four-door Trooper. Up front, the rodeo shares its U-shaped egg crate grille, headlights, bumper, and running lights with the Amigo. For 93, all Rodeo 4x4s get this single cam version of Isuzu's 3.2 liter V6, good for 175 horsepower and 188 pound-feet of torque. All V6 powered Rodeos come equipped with the same fine all-disc braking system as the Trooper. While not capable of four-wheel drive engagement on the fly, buyers will appreciate the Rodeo standard auto-locking hubs and two-speed transfer case 
plus the huge optional 31 by 10 and a half inch Goodyear all-terrain tires. They made short work of any snowy conditions we found. In addition, dry pavement handling was also stable. Rodeo interior fabrics are similar to, if a bit less colorful than the Troopers. Plastic quality has been improved since 91. The Rodeo's front buckets have fewer manual adjustments while being just as hard as the Troopers. The Rodeo's 60-40 split rear seat folds completely flat. The single rear door opens to a large cargo area of 75 cubic feet with the entire seat folded. The rodeo prices start at $13,699 for a two-wheel drive, four-cylinder model with a five-speed manual. At the other end is our top-of-the-line LS 4x4 with V6 and automatic at $22,099. Our fully optioned rodeo came in at $25,034. With multiple versions of Trooper, Rodeo, and the small budget price trendy Amigo, Isuzu has achieved coverage of the sport utility vehicle market that few manufacturers can match and most envy. Ever more refined Troopers and the fact that Honda dealers will be selling rebadged Rodeos beginning in 1994 may finally give Isuzu the proper recognition it's striving for.